Uh, see as how we don't have anything, welcome along to the Belgian Grand Prix here at Spa Francochamps. Was that our door? Was that. Uh, yeah, it was. It looks like it's for them. Uh, so yeah, we're not uh, we're not best impressed with uh, the team. They only gave us two negotiations, and as a result, qualify third or better. <laughs> looks like it's a dry race, so that's good. Didn't need a wet one. So there's our new contract, which I think is bullcrap, personally. Um, we'll uh, we'll have a word with the team after that because they only gave us two negotiations, so screw them. Uh, we need a new rival. Remember to select a driver that you consider your rival Who should on we the pick? rivalry screen on the workstation. Performing well against your rival can earn Seb. respect and better terms when it comes to our contract Seb, reviews. Seb, I pick you. So I will pick Sebastian. Hopefully we can uh, do some damage there. Now you'll notice we, uh, we've got another upgrade going for Singapore. Uh, we fought about it for a while and uh, decided in the end to uh, just go with it and see what uh, see what we can do. Um, that's going to give us some major suspension coming in for the next race at Italy and then the next race after that uh, in Singapore. So all it would leave us then is the bigger ones, but we may not even bother with them because, to be fair, what's the point? After Singapore, we need to know what's going on as far as um, R and D is concerned. So we'll take a look at the championship, and uh, we have a 164-point lead. Over Sebastian Vettel in second place, Sergio Perez in third, Lance Stroll up to fourth. Uh, then Daniel Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, Valtteri Bottas, Esteban Ocon and Lewis Hamilton. Your top ten. And still Stoffel Van Dorn yet to score. But we're going to his home race here at Spa. So uh, we'll see you for qualifying. It's qualifying time at Spa. One of the mightiest tracks on the Formula One calendar. Long straights up and downhill Eau Rouge as well this track isn't for the faint-hearted and I'm here of course with Anthony Davidson on what has turned out to be a very pleasant day indeed no weather to interfere no problems on the track so absolutely no room for error that's right Crofty it's looking good out there at the moment each team will have their own game plan for this session and of course once the cars leave the garage they'll be under Parc Fermé conditions so any last-minute adjustments need to be done right here and now. Beyond that, it's all up to the driver. Who can keep their tyres in the right temperature? Who can hit their apexes? No race fuel on board these days, of course. These are the fastest cars we've had in a long, long time. And it's right here in qualifying where they're at their absolute peak. Let's get started. We don't need to push too hard in this session. We should have the pace to qualify easily. And he is not wrong there. Let's do that. That's good. Uh, the one thing I will have a look at is uh, what's the weight distribution at? It's at 8. That's alright. That's about right. So we'll go to the track and let's get this flying lap underway. Um, Nothing much really to report in qualifying, other than, well, we were on fire. And uh, it doesn't surprise you that we were that on fire because, really, we got the best engine here. Here we go. Through the first corner, that's horse. Now this mighty, mighty run down to Eau Rouge. There might be a flashback used here in a second. 
Oh, maybe not. I did feel like the car wanted to uh, give out here. We hit 220 miles an hour going into uh, Lake Com. Grosjean with a 43.6, now into the Brussels hairpin. Now the A's, and we give the ball a little kiss on the outside. And now Puan is just about flat out. Before we head into the Fangish again. Hear me. That's not what we wanted. Head up through Stavolo. Why am I still in overtake? Should be in high. That's who blanch him on up to the bus stops again. Stroll with a 41. Wow. Strolls half a second faster than us. <coughs> I think though we've got enough time on the table. Personally. Verstappen with a four forty one four. Wow. Yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. Oof, just... Just... Without that, I think we'd have been higher up the grid. So, we lose Alonso, Grosjean, Gasly, Van Dorn and Hartley. Hmm. This is making my choice of where to go next season even better, depending on what the uh, te tech regulations say. Q2. On to Q2 then. Uh, we got our new set of supers on, yep. Yeah. Let's go and uh, get a flying lap in then. So we know where we've got to be. We did lose a hell of a lot of time in going into Stavolo. We've got to uh, we've got to find that time somewhere as we back out of it. There's another warning. Here we go. Cut across the track into La Source. The temptation is to break late into La Source, but you really can't. The track dips down and then dips back up again. Speaking of dipping down and back up again, here comes La Source. Who agrees with me? But they need to make La Source harder. Who they come down to the Brussels hairpin. This is where I can carry a bit more speed than some of the rest of the cars into Liège. Or as they call it, the corner with no name, but we've always called it Liège. Now Puan. Oh! And I will uh, give that the... That's worthy of our first flashback, don't you? So get it through Liège. There we go. Oh, good lord! Run a little wide on the outside of Puan. Now into the Fania. This is where we got it all wrong in Q1. But we get it perfect that time. Now into Stavolo. 
Oh, good lord, the back end of the car slipped away. <coughs> Hopefully it'll stay with us through Blanchimon. Come on. Ah! Let's have a better exit through Stavolo. What are we? 1.8 down on Stroll? How is that possible? That's because we're not in... Oh dear. Wow. That's a good lap. We'll take that. That's a mighty lap. 41.4. It's not as fast as uh, Stroll's been, but I think that'll uh, mean we can save a set of tyres. You know I said about the uh, OP power that we've got? Well, Force India have obviously brought some power with them as well. Uh, so Stroll. Whoa, Raikkonen with a 41.0. Where have you pulled that lap from? You pulled it from between your ass crack. <laughs> So we lose Sainz, Hamilton, Hulkenberg, Ericsson and Magnussen. No one decided they wanted to qualify on the so soft tyre. I find that interesting. Now we're going to get two cracks at Q3 here. So let's, uh, let's go and give it a good crack. There's a 140 in this circuit. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. The only problem is, where is that 140 coming from? Oh, that's a bit deep into my source, but we'll get away with it. Ooh, flat through a rouge. That's what we needed to see. An absolute train through a rouge. Lake Common Malmody down to the Brussels hairpin. Get that car turning. Come on, you heifer. Through the age. Good. Absolutely flat out through. Poo on. Probably the best we took Poo on all right qualifying session now give it the extra on for the power we're half a second up on Vettel and that opposes the low 41s didn't run wide come on you know I told you there was a 40 in this circuit There it is. Fantastic. Boom! Now watch Lance Stroll. Half a second faster than Vettel. And now you're on there, you may suck on that one. I think that's job done. It's a Williams the one two. Then for the race tomorrow. But before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, who are Paul, Stroll, and Sebastian Vettel. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow. So make sure you join uh, us. Ah yes, the V is in the air. It's pole position for Williams. 
one two for Williams as well that's be interesting going down to the uh, hairpin tomorrow so uh, we'll head off to the shop and then uh, it is race day oh yeah I forgot Seb's my rival now as well isn't he <laughs> scrub Sweet. All right. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance of the Yes, we should, Jeff. Lap the field and I'll buy you a pizza. I've heard that one before and you've never bought me a darn pizza. So qualify third or better, we'll get that uh, next race in Singapore. And thank God we've got it here. No, it's Italy next, sorry, not Singapore. And there goes what Singapore with Japan, doesn't it? No, Singapore's with Russia. Hold on a second. There we go. So it's Spa and Monza, Singapore and South Russia, yeah, and then Japan and Austin get theirs, and then the last race, three races are all together. I'm trying to work out what are we are. Uh, we're 100 and what was it? 160, 164 points ahead of Vettel. So if we get a good result here, if we get a good result here, there is a chance. A chance. We could win the drivers' title at Monza. It is a chance, though. It is not. It's not for certain. I mean, we didn't win that one until Mexico. Mexico, wasn't it? Yeah, because Raikkonen was absolutely trouncing us, and then out of the blue, look at that Spa. It mon We're heading to an area where we practically dominated with this uh, OP Williams. So it's a chance but a chance we've got to take so let's do this we know we're not going to win the driver's title here but let's get out of there have a good race and see what we can do heading into the race who doesn't love the Belgian Grand Prix it's the race of course that gave maiden pole positions to the Jordan and Force India teams with Rubens Barrichello and Giancarlo Fisichella, respectively. Jordan, of course, would then go on to better that here in 1998 with their first ever victory. And you can guarantee that something special will always happen at spa francorchamps But what that something is today is anybody's guess. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardennes Forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there really is no place quite like Spa. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk briefly about Marcus Ericsson. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today. Looks like Seb's to ready for the, for the fight today. Start. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Poole lines up on pole position and it's Lance Stroll in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Perez, Esteban Ocon, and Raikkonen, Leclerc, Bottas, Verstappen, and Daniel Ricciardo, Sainz, Hamilton, Nico Hülkenberg, and Magnussen, Grosjean, Gasly, Stoffel van Dorn, and Brendan Hartley, Ericsson, and Fernando Alonso starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. OK, La Source is always pretty tight, but we've got a clear run. Remember the runoff if you need it. I will do. 
So it looks like it's going to be a three lap run on the soft, super soft, and then uh, an eight lap run on the soft tyre. Overcast weather, so there could be a threat of rain. There could not be. Uh, the, the threat does come from within, so uh, let's do this. Let's get it done. Lights out, away we go. And we've got a good start, but Stroll's got a better start as we very casually and very nicely take it into uh, Last Hall. Thank you very much. You all wouldn't mind just staying back there. Vettel's jumped uh, Stroll, so is Perez. Uh, we seem to have uh, checked. We're gone. Nope, here goes Vettel. And it goes as wide at Malmody. Into the Brussels hairpin. Oh, that's another wide one. Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. That was another wide one, but we managed to get away with it. Down into Puan. Now, come on. Down a little wide, down a little wide again. Into the Fanya chicane. I'm bidding to overtake and now get gone. Ah, stroll back into third. If he wouldn't mind coming up, having a word with Sebastian. We run wide. It's not what we needed. You are derating. Lower the ERS deployment mode before you hit your deployment limit. Through the source for the first time. Now up the, I was going to say up the hill. It's nice down the hill before we go up the hill. But uh, it's always tricky. Is oh, that's why. There is another warning. Sort of give Sebastian a look. But uh, we're going to hold him off going into late comp. Nice close fight between myself and Sebastian. That's what we like to see. And strolls in the uh, close effect as well. We pit next lap for the uh, for the soft tyre. We've had two warnings, so we've got to stay away from curbs and uh, whatnot now. And we come out of a bus stop. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Best in lap he wants now. We're in high ERS mode. Just get this right and we'll, we'll be lapping all the way to the bank. And we did get it right. But I think Sebastian's going to have DRS. He is going to have DRS. We'll just park it in the middle. Parking in the middle of the track and he can't go nowhere. So we, yeah, we pit this lap, don't we?
I wonder if Seb's gonna pit with us. Oh, we almost lose it. Coming out of the Fania chicane. Box, box, box. All over the curves in Stavolo. We've got Stroll by a race. But uh, it seems like Mr. Vettel would like to carry on the argument. So here we go, we're coming to box. Seb carries on. Seb carries on, Stroll carries on. Exit, exit now. Two point uh, two point two stop. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. We come out at the back of the field. Oh. Okay, we lost the position. Try to keep focus. Oh, we'll, we'll, we're gonna replay that because that was just stupid. It seems to be the problem here. There we go. Ooh, we got DRS on. We got DRS. How did we end up with DRS? We pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. I didn't think we were a second uh, behind uh, Stoffel there in his home race. No risks now with these back markers. The soft tyres are absolutely chugging. But we can't go anywhere with them because oh stop all oh Grosjean if you think you can get past increase ERS deployment to overtake mode well I think I can but it's whether I can I'd be worrying here because we may be losing the lead of the uh Lance is in the pits. The Belgian Grand Prix here. Oh, it's a late dive bomb! There's Lance. Are we going to get out in front of Lance? Oh, it's close! It's close to the Williams is! No, oh, we'll let him have it. We'll let him have it because we'll get him down the Kimmel straight. So does that mean Seb's not pitted yet? If Seb's not pitted, we're going to be close to Seb. Some information on Leclerc. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. Rip Leclerc. So where are we at? P8. We've got Magnussen in front of us. Oh, we've got right, we've got right. Hold on to that. Try and give him a go. Oh, this could be candy. Candy! Candy! Excuse you! Yeah, give him the internationally recognized hand gesture of disapproval. I think Seb tried the overcut, it didn't work.
Yep, we've got him. Stroll might get him. Go on, lads. He didn't get him. The car behind has come in. They're now on the soft tire. Softs on the car behind. Soft tires on the car behind. And we've basically got to be perfect now. No cutting corners. No doing anything. No running wide. If we do, we've got to back out of it. We have five laps of fuel remaining. And I'm so glad for the five laps of fuel, Jeff. But as you can see right now, we're in a fight with the, with the Ferrari. So uh, if you don't mind, shut up. Let's reset, what, fastest middle sector by two tenths. Gap to Seb is one and a half. Oh, look at this. There's a fight going on behind me. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. The fight between myself, my teammate, and... Uh, oh, Stroll's got him. Good boy, Lance. Every place you take off him is a place... is a race more I can uh, become world champion. Whereas... Oh... You don't be doing that too much. Vettel's going to have DRS, though, down the Kevel straight. And Vettel's now got back past Stroll. This engine's going to do a lot of stress. Because it's going to do this race. So it's got Monza next. Ho oh, ho! Who thought that? So good. Through the Fania chicane. Because they do not be surprised if we uh, end up with a fast lap. 2.7 to Vettel now. Vettel's now dumped Stroll into the path, hands of Ocon. I think it's Ocon. As opposed to Perez. As long as we can dump Vettel. Gap at three seconds. We should be good to go. I don't think Vettel's going to be dumping Stroll anytime soon. I think there might be a triple DRS down uh, down the Kemmel straight here. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Stroll's going to go for it. Don't know if he did it. No, he didn't. But look at them. The three of them are so close. If Mr. Belgian race director wants to go concentrate on that fight, go ahead. Because uh, it's getting a bit easier for the front here. Green flag. Oh, and somebody's retired. Who's retired? Oh, it's Vettel! The SC deployed. The virtual safety car has been deployed. We need to keep a positive delta here. Slow down. Maintain a positive delta. It's Vettel. That now means... The gap goes to 189 points. 
Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. The gap will go to 189 points over Gap Vettel. to teammate behind is 2.9 seconds. We can How is it 2.9? He was five seconds behind us. Oh, we had to really back out then. Oh, that was a co brown moment. Engine is looking a little worn. Power output will be less than optimal. That's fine, I can live with that. because I'm getting a new one after Italy. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Ah, uh, well, we'll think about that. We set the fastest middle sector. Oh, there's going to be the penalty. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Now we've got to be three seconds ahead of Stroll, otherwise Stroll's going to win the Grand Prix. You've been awarded a time penalty for that last incident. Which I think was a little harsh, but never mind. I'm starting to get the hang of Eau Rouge now. And it's just a shame that uh, the next race isn't uh, Spa as well. I'd get the hang of it more and more. But uh, it's all about us here. Thanks to Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari, I presume his Ferrari engine will just decided it had enough. Hundred and eighty nine points to Vettel. God knows what the gap will be to well he's on ninety one. No, he was on a low number as well. Yeah, I'm sure he was on ninety one. Yep, sorry about that one. So here we go, coming out the uh, last corner, last lap. <coughs> this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Last lap, and we'll bump it into hot lap. Let's see if we can set a pile driver run fastest lap. That was nice through uh, a rouge. Out the Brussels half and into Liège. Likes to be a Williams 1 2 unless Ocon does something about it. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. And good for that one lap of fuel. Oh, 
worldwide in uh, the first part of Stavolo. Bump it up into hot lap. We're five seconds ahead. We're definitely going to win as long as we don't mess up Blonde and we don't. Just the bust up. Just the bust up to go. Out of the last corner. We're going to win in Belgium. Victory in the Belgian Grand Prix. It wasn't the prettiest, but we'll take it. Oh, here they are now. I always love seeing the independent teams do well. Williams have a long and storied history with F1, and I'm delighted to see them on the top step of the podium. Hey, And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Paul increases their championship lead. Moving on to the driver of the day then. Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Oh, maybe Marcus Ericsson? Yes, yes, I think I'll commit to that one. Marcus Ericsson, fine job, very consistent. And now let's take a look at the constructors standings. Williams move further ahead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, good work from Force India this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. What do you mean, maybe Marcus Ericsson? Maybe Marcus Ericsson finished seventh from 19th. Of course he's driver of the day. He's driver of the day by miles. I want to see what uh, standings. Here we go. Drivers. So the gap, yeah, 189 points to both Stroll and Vettel. They've got to basically beat me and hope I don't have a good finish at uh, Monza. Otherwise, they better have a cutscene prepared at Monza because we will win the Drivers' Championship at Monza. We won't even be trying that hot race. <laughs> oh, dear. Okie dokie, then. Scrub. Let's, uh, let's get out there. Let's uh, go see our good friend and uh, let's see what happens from here. Great work out there today. How do you think it went? Uh, well, we won. That's how it went. It doesn't get much better than a win at this uh, track, It really does it? doesn't get any better. And uh, I suppose the only way you can answer this is, well... Another podium. You must be getting used to it up there. Uh, of course I am. But, uh, you know... It's got to be about the engine, hasn't it? It's looking like a winner has emerged in the championship. Is it in the bag? Yeah, I think... As much as I want to give the old cocky answer, you can't stop giving 100%. That was a close finish. How are things between uh, the two? And, of course, between myself and Lance, it's a heated fight, and that's what we love. Appreciate your time. And I appreciate yours. Oh, yeah, I've just remembered we should get the first of our big, massive chassis upgrades for Italy. Oh, did you not finish the race, Seb? What happened? <laughs> Ooh, that should be enough for uh, a little sum sum. I think we're at veteran status now. Just wanted to say congrats on the podium. It's thoroughly deserved. We were sweating those last few laps on the pit wall. You were not you sweating. I agree, that's uh, always a good one. Now, let's have a look. 
Shall we buy or shall we wait? I think I want to wait. I want to see what uh, they say about the... Uh, because it would be a shame to lose all this. Mind you, I'm not staying here, I've already said. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what we do. Uh, but, I think that's just about it, isn't it? Another win? What's that? How many wins is that on the season? One, two, three, four, five. That's the tenth win of the season. This Williams is OP. Yeah, I think uh, I might want to move. See what uh, see what the thingy comes up with. But we've, we've got it. I hope they do have a championship cutscene for Italy. Has anyone won it before Italy? That'd be amazing if they did. But uh, that's uh, all for us. Uh, fairly simple uh, spa job. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And we'll see you where hopefully we'll clinch the championship at Monza.